Today we've got new irons from Callaway. It's the 2024 Callaway Apex Pro Series. Myself and Michael are out on the driving range today to test them out and tell you guys everything you need to know. Go for if you haven't yet. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf, joined today by Michael Geiger out here on the driving range at Les Bolstead with new Callaway iron for 2023. Well, the 2024 Apex Pro Series from yes. Callaway. So we have three iron models. You've got two of them, I've got one of them, but in total, that's three models. It is the Apex Pro, the Apex CB, and the Apex MB. Um, you know, the nomenclature is not completely new, right? No. But the design and the performance is going to be a little bit new. And so I think I want to start briefly just with that Apex Pro because sure. it, it, uh, it kind of is, is Callaway's answer for that category, that strong player's cavity category that is really becoming more and more popular in golf right now. I, I think it's so popular. The, the Apex Pro is really the, the workhorse of the series. I mean, it's, it's called the Pro Series. I feel like it's sort of the kind of the flagship right. model. There's just so many golfers that, that fit into this. I mean, you even see there's sort of a trend on tour where tour players that once were playing those kind of real thin blade irons are kind of shifting more towards a pro-like profile. Mm -hmm. And I think that Callaway always does a great job with it. And I uh, can't wait to see how it performs. Yeah. It's got that kind of hollow body design, but it's still very compact. Yes. Um, and then you move, of course, into the CB and MB where you get the single kind of forging piece where it's going to have a lot softer feel, kind of like, you know, the type of feel, look, and performance that the best players in the world demand. Absolutely. And I think with the CB and MB especially, they seem so perfectly paired for a yeah, combo set. Exactly. You, yeah. that, that's really, when you when you put them down next to each other, they're, they're very different and they offer different characteristics, but they kind of look like siblings. Yeah, and I think what you're also going to find is that there's going to be possibilities for three-way combo sets here with maybe an Apex Pro in the top of the set, then the CB, then the MB. Uh, there's a lot of possibilities here that Callaway has kind of offered with these three irons. Um, and I'm really excited to see how the testing goes here. We're going to hit all three. We've got the full swing kit simulator today. So we've got some numbers to look at as well. Let's do it. Well, Mr. Geiger, we'll start. Looks like you got Apex Pro. Yeah. Um, we talked a little bit about that strong players cavity category, but as we always do with this, we need to first talk about the appearance that address, um, you know, if it's in a how it looks, you know, that talk about that top line, um, what you see, if it inspires confidence, all those types of things. Yeah, so the Apex Pro Series, obviously there's three models that kind of kind of span a whole spectrum of player, but this is really the one size fits all, the yeah. Apex Pro. It's, it's everything about it is very, it's friendly to the low handicap and the mid handicap. There's, it's a fairly compact, fairly thin top line, but it's not, it's not too thin. It's not the CB and MB. It, it's, it's really, um, it's a profile that both inspires confidence and tells the better player, hey, you can, you can still shape it, right. and uh, there's still a tremendous feel. Sure, sure, yeah. Well, uh, let's swing away here a let's few times it. and get go with five good shots with each club here. Right off the bat, what are your thoughts on that? A little bit louder than yeah. I expected. There's yeah. just that mm -hmm. little, um, kind of that, that little bit of audio, yep. as Tiger would say. It's very, it's a, it's a loud, I wouldn't even call it loud. It would just, it's like a, it's very impactful sound, I guess it's is the way I'm going to. It's kind of a I'm piercing. Gonna, yeah, it, it, there you it, go. It, That's it, the word. It, yeah. And piercing. Like it's not unpleasant, but it's certain. No, like you, no, no, no. It's you, not it, clicky or yeah. clunky, but it, it's. It's more present than any other club we're going to hit today. Absolutely. And, and early forgiveness shown there. That was off the toe and still flew pretty mm -hmm. solidly. How's that one? Another one kind of came over it and pulled it, but it's okay. It's still fairly straight. Yeah. Yeah, hey, your dispersion on the three shots looks pretty good right now. Yeah, very impressed with the uh, with the forgiveness so far. Haven't really middled one yet. Very consistent flight too. Yeah. Even with, because you mentioned that, was it the second shot was off the toe? Yes. It seemed like, and I, I can see what the numbers say, but it didn't seem like the, the height or anything was No, that not at all. Yeah. Not at all. Another one that was skinny and off the heel, but still. Okay, see that even, it, the air. it's probably going to drop a little bit of distance, but okay, not really. Not really at all, actually. So if we were to, yeah, so I'm got, I got the carry numbers in front of me here on five shots. One's the average is <clears throat> 182. 
We got 177 on the first shot, then 184, 180, 184, 184. That's pretty solid consistency. Pretty solid right there. So talk to me about the feel now. I mean, because you, you did kind of hit a couple of really good ones, right? I mean, honestly, the, that last one, the one off the heel and low on the face, felt a little, obviously, thin. But the first four felt almost identical. Mm -hmm. I mean, then there was there was kind of a slight pull, there was a slight push, but really consistent across the face. And uh, as, as we mentioned, there was kind of that that, that very distinct audio, but uh, just a very, very solid across the face. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's you love to see that consistent carry distance. And then um, the spin rate actually fluctuated quite a bit. If I bring up those, it went anywhere from over 6,000 to actually under 4,000. But to see the flight still maintain consistency yes. is, I think, the big thing here. Absolutely. Uh, all right. So we try to move up then, or I guess move down in size, right, to yeah. the CB Forged? Let's do it. All right. Mr. Geiger, now the Apex CB. Yeah. Um, does it look smaller? I mean, when you put it, it down? It, it, a little bit. It, it's really, you know, second swing, we, we, we're an unbiased right. uh, retailer. Unfortunately, I have bias. And this <laughs> of the three is, is, to my eye, the most beautiful. It really yeah. kind of marries. Uh, it, it, it's not quite as compact as, as the MB. It has a little bit of that pro forgiveness, but it's just, it's that little bit more player's look sure. that is just gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's, I think it's, for me too, as a, you know, I, I would consider myself a player's cavity yes. player. Um, so this is also the one I'm most intrigued by too, because I'm probably not going to put a blade in my bag. No, me And either. I think that Apex Pro is a little bit more pop than I need. But I think this is, if you're that player that's kind of in between those two, this is the, the model for Certainly. you. Certainly. How's that one? That's just, I mean, you feel that what you lose in forgiveness, yep. you gain in feel. Yeah. And on a shot like that, that is... That's the shot that yeah. makes. That also sounded a lot more muted. It was. It, it was, was muted. And, it actually, yeah. I felt like it jumped up in height. Yep. Um, this is the. This is really what a player like me is looking for. And I mentioned you lose a little forgiveness, so there. Kind so of that was kind of a slight miss there. A little miss hit there. Okay. Okay, I, I'm still seeing even like your that you know maybe a miss hit. Yeah, it's not even. I don't think it touches the volume of the Apex Pro when it hits. No, out. it's 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 quite a bit quieter. That's that's very apparent. That was flushed. Actually, about a groove low. Was it? But still, you know, it's not the MB. There's still right. a little bit there. So yep, yep. You're not thrown out. The forgiveness with the bathwater. And there's a little bit of a pull. Okay. Distance will probably jump. Okay. Yeah. So the distance did jump a little bit there. You also are swinging this one a little bit faster. And again, we should note the shafts are just kind of stock with yep. sort of the um, the stock steel offering for each iron, so they're not going to be perfectly you know equal across sure. the board. But um, I will go to your shots here and kind of rattle off the numbers here. We'll go to carry distance first. Um, and we went, obviously, the last five shots were with the Apex CB Forged. And you were kind of in that range from, you went actually 192 to start. Um, and then you dropped down to 179, mm -hmm. 176, 194, 197. That last one, that 197, a yep. little bit of a pull, yep. went over that way. Um, so I think, you know, you're seeing, and I think this is going to be the cross the board now for the blade, is that forgiveness drops a little bit. And yep. you get what you get in return is sort of a better feel and also more curvature on the golf ball. Definitely. Um, and then in terms of feel, you mentioned that you loved it. It was it was great. The, the, the audio is there. Um, there's just that you lose a little bit of that forgiveness to the, the, the extremes, the toe and the heel. But it, there's when you start to get that kind of player's iron sweet spot, which is just it's a really it's a great feeling. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Should we go to the blade now? Let's it's, do it. You up there with the challenge? Uh, we're going to find out. <laughs> All right. Now we got the blade. The yes. Apex MB, um, is it that much smaller than the CB? It is. It, it, it's really the, uh, it feels like a slightly longer blade length and okay. that the kind of that, that high toe area is just a little, little sharper, a little sure, more kind yeah. of squared. So, uh, I mean, it's a blade. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's the classic look every, you know, not even tour players are even confident enough in their game sometimes to play these. You got yeah. a lot of players now. I mean, back in the day it was all blades. Sure. But. As you get more and more into the modern game, you're seeing a lot of these kind of cavity, little, little shallow cavity iron heads. Mm -hmm. But obviously, there's enough of an appetite for the blade still. And you have that kind of weight badge on the back, too, that yes. 
still does add a little bit of kind of stability, some weight there that yep. can stabilize the club a little bit compared yeah. to maybe the average blade out there. And even for the middle low handicap, who's who's fearful of a blade, I think kind of back to that combo set point. Yeah. Maybe you're considering it for you know pitching wedges through through eight right. or seven iron. Okay. I'm actually impressed with how that's flying, given that you don't seem thrilled with the swing. No, very, uh, yeah. very straight and held its distance okay. Yeah, you hit it 177 carry. The spin was just over 4,000, and again, we are using range balls, so yep. that spin's going to be lower Definitely. than you know, your typical premium golf ball. But that dispersion, I mean, you're almost right on the center line there, so. All right, talk to me now about the feel there. That so was, there, that sounded like it, a pretty good felt great. I mean, contact, that's that's yeah. that's what keeps you coming back to play golf. Um, <laughs> with the, uh, the the flight was very much the the CB was a little bit of a more quick jumper. This one has that little bit more of that low riser. Yeah, so yeah. kind of it's again, probably going to spin a little bit more. Yep. Have a little more kind of it's going to have more spin too, probably. If, Definitely with that design too, center gravity a little bit higher. Yep. I mean, this might be the club for you instead of the <laughs> CB. This is, you're hitting these right on top of the line. Goodness. Yeah, that's pretty good. Tell you what, the profile's not confidence inspiring, but when you can, when you have the, you know, when you feel like you can hit whatever shape you want, yeah, that, that flight inspires confidence. That sounded pretty darn good too. It's really solid. That baby draw, that baby draw. Yeah, you're definitely losing distance compared to the CB, but that's sure. to be expected with A, a tougher club to hit, B, slightly, slightly, uh, you know, a little bit of a build design for more spin. Right. More workability. That one's tugged a little bit. Yep. Sounded good though? It was okay. It, you know, there's a little more forgiveness than I expected. That That wasn't... Yeah, a great strike by any means, but still, again, you're warmed up too. That's you reached 100 club speed with the seven iron okay. there. That was pretty good. Well, there right. we go. So you hit that one actually 199 carry as you uh, kind of drop that spin yep. and hit it left. But uh, all your other shots here are basically right on the center line. Um, that's I mean shows that consistency that this club has, and even on some of those that the spin might vary a little bit, that distance is still pretty consistent across the board. Um, your thoughts overall after hitting the shots now with the Apex MV? Yeah, again, it's 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 bark is worse than its bite. It's it's might look incredibly intimidating, uh, but it, it really doesn't feel that way. I, yeah. I didn't necessarily. I mean, I hit those solid, but it wasn't spectacular. I wasn't you know sweet spotting everything, but it's still. You mentioned kind of the dispersion in the distance. There's enough forgiveness there where. Even if it's just for your short irons, there's there's a fair amount of players that should consider this right. club. Right. Yeah. Well, Michael, we did our testing there on the Callaway Apex Pro Series for 2024. Um, I think overall that we can see why you know Callaway irons are so popular, yes. and especially kind of in this players category. So we've got three different models here. Let's start with the Pro. That was the first one you, you tested. Um, you talked about the fact that a lot of players can play that club, and I think. You know, anybody really with a single digit handicap, if not even maybe into the you know teens, sure. can can play that because it is a little stable enough. It's got the hollow body design, but it is compact enough that it's very inviting to look it, at. It was definitely the the jumpiest off the face. Yeah, it, it sure. Felt you know you felt that forgiveness. Uh, that I probably hit that club the worst of the three, but even those toe and heel strikes, they just they really impressed me with the forgiveness mm -hmm. and the way they held their flight. Yeah, I think there'll be a, uh, it'll a lot of players that want something that looks like a player's iron that like this looks like something small but needs yeah. some performance still i think the apex pro is going to be a great answer for Definitely. those players um the cb now this is the one i have here i think this is the one aesthetically you, you like the best yes um talk to me about this one and maybe the players that it's going to work for sure so it's just a really uh it, it's just a classic kind of player's profile it's yeah. it's not quite as kind of razor thin as the mb but it still has that 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 player's look mm -hmm. and so uh, we saw still, you know, there's a little bit of a drop off in forgiveness, but yep. not as much as you'd expect from the pro to the CB. Still uh, really consistent trajectory numbers, good height numbers, and uh, it, it, it just it feels great. Yeah, definitely. And that, you know, you, you still do get the single kind of um, single piece forging with this as well. Mm -hmm. Then you add on that weight plate on the back. And then lastly, the, the MB, of course, 
going to be the hardest to hit for really the most expertly skilled ball strikers out there. Yes, definitely. It's just it's it's the final step, right? It's it's the end of the kind of the forgiveness spectrum. Yeah. Uh, it, it's it's gorgeous to look at. It's it's probably going to be a little intimidating for some players, but I would I would challenge any single digit handicap to at least consider it for you know kind of that that short iron zone. Right. I think. Uh, once you kind of get over uh, the look, the performance is, is is outstanding, and there's really there's a little bit more forgiveness than I expected even. Yeah, I think there's the combo set possibilities are, are endless really as you you know and, and one thing to note too with each of these is you know the center of gravity build on these is progressive so that even in all the long irons you're going to get a, a better center of gravity for optimal launch conditions with a four iron say versus a nine iron right, right. where you can kind of get more forgiveness at the long irons more control at the short irons and that's only going to add to the benefits of that combo set that you could have so um, three really good irons from Callaway here. They're going to be big time winners in the fitting base of second swing. So make sure you schedule that fitting. Um, Michael, thank you for joining today and showing us the performance, giving your feedback on these irons. I imagine a lot of people watching are going to go into the bays now and, and schedule their fitting because these are going to be really good. Just watch John Rahm hit them. It looks a lot better than what you just saw. <laughs>